the Athena project was based on a couple of conversations I had with friends in the military where I learned that the army was haunting high-end uh, women's athletic events, particularly in Hawaii, the triathlete events, to recruit women to come and be operatives, to be trained just like the men in Delta Force, to go out and do a lot of this nation's most dangerous business. And I was fascinated by that. The idea of women kicking in doors and shooting bad guys in the head I thought, that's pretty cool, and I want to learn some more about this. But it's a very quiet program. There wasn't a lot of information out there. So uh, it's taken me a while to find the background that I have, but it's probably been one of the most exciting things I've ever written about. One of my favorite TV shows always was, and I'll never forgive you, Ben Affleck, for what you did. It was uh, Alias with Jennifer Garner, and I joke around a lot about the fact that Alias got canceled because she got married and started having children. But I love that Sydney Bristow character. I love the idea of a woman who had been trained to go out there and do some of this nation's most dangerous business. And that, that was an inspiration, uh, not only there, but I always enjoyed Lara Croft and in a lot of strong female characters, even going back to Sigourney Weaver in Aliens. I really, really liked her. And so that, that was a good part of the inspiration that I had for the Athena Project. I really believe that reality is the bedrock of a great thriller. Mark Twain was famous for saying that the difference between fiction and reality is that people expect fiction to make sense. And I think that's a fair thing to say. I, I do believe that. That's what I want when I'm reading fiction. It can't just be all pulled from the air. You can't have a safety on a Glock. You've got to know what you're doing. So to get to that point, I've got to make sure that my research is right on the money. And I'm very fortunate that I have a lot of good relationships in those communities, law enforcement, military, and intelligence, that I can take the manuscript to and say, hey, will you read this? I want you, I, it's great if you like it, but I want to hear what you don't like about it. I want to hear where I made mistakes or where it could be better. And I call this key group my sharpshooters and I tell them I just want you to shoot the manuscript full of holes because I want it to be as good as possible. I've long held that the one thing that a reader is giving me that's the most valuable thing they possess is their time. You can go out and make more money to buy more books or whatever, but you won't get back the time you're going to be spending reading a Brad Thor book. So for me, it's very, very important that when you spend those hours with me, that you close the book and go, wow, that was great. I can't wait for the next one. Mm -hmm.